Hello there amigos and welcome to the Kid Bias Highlight Reel for the Canadian Grand Prix. We take a look at the starting grid and it's the three championship contenders, oh, Mazna, El Majaco and Dregler, starting from the maybe first three spots. Down the bottom it's the North Korean Nino. Hello, my name's Nino. Actually make that Nemo, sorry. And uh, also apologies for the party chat in the background. I'll make sure to rectify that next week so it's not uh, coming over the game footage. As we head to the starting grid, five lights. It's lights out and away we go. Cartoon gets plenty of wheel spin off the line ahead of Kid Byers as we head down into turn one. Always plenty of action. Yellow flags out already. Danny Sting to the inside. Kid Byers losing all sorts of places to Heiberg. Now Murph alongside Nemo. In front of me there on the Force India starting on the super soft tyres. I run a little bit wide and that lets Mighty Murph through up into 11th place with Danielson right across filling my mirrors at the back of me so down from p9 to p12 here on lap one at the circuit de gilles villeneuve here in canada and coming off a second place in monte carlo i'll be looking to back it up with another good result today but i'm 10 places off where i finished last week is all oh, that looked like contact further up ahead between the ferrari and the force india but nothing untoward happening lap six down the inside can't get the move done on nino but he will go off all oh, contact there with craig i think it was and uh, so that's uh, the end of Nemo, and uh, we'll have to find Nemo a little bit later on as we come down now, lap seven, very next lap, caution, and something's going on up ahead here, it might be Mr. Monkey Man, Mighty Monkey, uh, or whatever his name is in the Haas, yep, he's made a mistake, the yellow flags are out, so up into P10 and into the points, now lap 10, I get DRS, I get a good run on Craig in the Renault, but I'm looking to undercut him here, these two, and Heinberg, Heisenberg in the Ferrari as well. So you can see they're not elected to take that corner straight into the pits. Um, I did have a lot more pace than those two who were battling for a large part of the uh, early part of the race, I should say. So a little bit early then, the ultra soft tyres still had a bit of life in them, but I elected to pit for the softs and go through to the end of the race. Getting the pit stop right this time around, this week, no worries about the clutch. Now, uh, so I'm looking to undercut the two, those two guys, Craig in the Renault and Heiberg in the Ferrari. One stop left, no that's incorrect Jeff, as we come out stuck behind uh, the Renault now, that's not ideal, that is not what I wanted um, for the last part of this race with uh, having to pass, now having to pass that uh, Renault of Squag, uh, who's on the ultra soft tyres, and um, but I guess he has to pit again, so I'm not uh, too concerned about that. As we look to fast forward then, so lap 11 out of 35, now coming down the main straight here on lap 18 out of 35, as what's going to happen here, further up ahead, Squag and Heiberg, oh, I didn't that close, nearly yeah. made contact, sorry about that party audio coming through there, but uh, I think the Ferrari's yeah. the worst, come off worse out of that, so I've made another position up to P7, and just for your information, I also did jump those two uh, Renault, uh, the Renault and the Ferrari, which I was trying to undercut. That did work, so I was up to P7, off ahead of uh, chasing Squag, still behind Squag in the Ferrari, uh, in the Ferrari, in the Renault, sorry. And uh, now with Danny behind me, so lap 19, a little bit over halfway in this race, and we come up lap 19 out of 35. What position are you in? Here we go, DRS, looking to pass the Renault. On the ultra soft tyres, I come alongside. Can I get it done this down into the final corner? And there was a little bump a there. Orange, yeah. There was. The Thank you. Thank you, Jeff. I did get a corner cutting warning for that, but up to sixth place. And uh, we saw there was the live stream, and it did show that uh, the Renault lost. Uh, he did lose his wing or part of his wing, and he elected to go straight in the pit lane. So it did look like a blatant corner cut, and I apologise about that, but there was contact there. Uh, going into that corner. Okay, lap 20 out of 35 now. In pursuit of Wayno's up in fifth. Kid yeah, Byers sixth. Danny on the super soft tyres in seventh. She's like got a good run on me yeah. here down into turn one. And I give her plenty of room. I try not to get in her way because she did have the far superior pace. But I had a sneaking suspicion me, that uh, Danny did have a penalty. And if I could just stick within that three second or six second time gap as it turned out. I could get 6th place. So here we go, lap 21 out of 35. Now onto the last lap, Dregler takes another commanding win here at the Canadian Grand Prix. Danny is further up. You can see on the map in the top, uh, or bottom left hand corner I should say, that she's a further 3, I think she's about 2.9 something seconds ahead as the yellow flags are out. Now to green, so we come across the line, not quite the Grand Prix I was looking Damn for. P9 on the grid. 
And P6 in the race. It wasn't the most exciting race, and I apologise about the bog standard uh, plain ass highlights this week, but due to time constraints and some software issues, um, yeah, it was just a basic highlight reel. But I will be back with some funny stuff. I've got a few ideas to run by you guys next week and in the coming weeks. Oh, okay, yep. yep. So look out for that. Is that. That sounded like me. That is me. As uh, we take a look at Dregler on the podium, Jacko, the two championship rivals. What a season this mm. is turning out to be as the number 23 Williams takes victory yet again here in Canada. He's pretty chuffed as he always is. And Cart Dude, yeah. the black, pink, the black uh, four CD driver in the pink overalls as the champagne comes out. That strange looking Williams team down there uh, looking happy again. Three Australian flags on the podium. Three very happy Aussies on the podium. There they are. And that is your Canadian Grand Prix highlights for this week as we recap the results. Dregler in first. I just didn't. Ma Shut up, Trevor. Majako in second. Cart dude oh, okay. Two, oh, in yeah. third place. Wayno, a fantastic result for Red Bull as we scroll down the results. Mighty Murph in fifth. Kid Byers sixth ahead of Danny who had the penalty. Maz, disappointing result for him and the other Red Bull. Uh, Craig, oh. Heiberg, Jolly and Palmer. What's he doing there? He shouldn't be anywhere near a Grand Prix track. Alex Mann in the McLaren, unfortunately not getting yeah. points. And Mr. Mighty Murph Monkey uh, down there in 13th. Uh, and uh, there's some other results there that are further down. But, uh, yeah, we don't really need to worry about those. Yeah, Thanks very much for your company, bridge. folks. Apologies about the party audio being well, shared. Yeah. I will change that setting next penalty? week. Or yes, not? you are the yeah. only one without a penalty, you uh, dickhead. The DNFs, but whatever. Oh, okay. uh, not Jacko, me. Um, okay, I did, yeah, that's right, actually. Thanks for reminding me, Trevor, from Wednesday night. I did not have a penalty. Have a look at that. All of those drivers, the rest of them had penalties, uh, apart from the DNFs, who I'm not too sure about. Thanks very much for your company, folks, this week. Don't forget to join us for Bowser's Castle. Not, uh, Baku next week. It's not fair when you get hit, though, going into that last quarter, and you've got to cut it, Shut you know, to avoid contact, and it's like, oh, warning. Shut up Wednesday night, Trevor. You should be happy you didn't get any fucking penalties. All right, guys, I've sworn again. Have yeah, a magnificent it was Craig week. Hit, I'll see. Like something happened and, yeah, they were all over the place. Oh, goodness. Shit. Okay, guys, I will see you next week. Let me have another go at that. Thanks very much for your company. Uh, we'll, so, yeah. We'll see you yep. next time.